The UAW national contract with contracts, I should say, with all three domestic automakers are in place. The elections wrapped up, you recall, shortly before the holidays last year. But there's one holdout, and that holdout says the UAW Ford election should not have been certified. He's claiming wrongdoing on many levels. Some interesting twists and turns. Business editor Rob Maloney has the story. Rod? If you remember back to last November, you might recall that the UAW and the domestic three automakers had a real nail biter when it came down to the elections for the national UAW contract, the tentative agreement. In fact, it was so close at Ford at the very end that Jimmy Settles, the UAW vice president, had to have a news conference trying to convince his membership to vote with him. Some people, especially younger people, think that you just go open door number two and see if some behind door number two. That's not how real negotiations go. But there's one 30-year Ford electrician who works in the Ford truck plant who says that Settles was off base, not only with that news conference, but the entire Ford election process. It was a sham. And he's not just talking about it. He's filed official protests with UAW Local 600 and UAW national representatives saying the election was far too tidy in a very bad way. That tentative agreement vote was manipulated all the way through from beginning to, to, to end. These documents come from his complaint. The local contract ballot was in green. The national contract vote was in white. The union, he said, needed 500 votes to approve the national contract. And when the final tally came out, there were exactly 500 more national votes than local votes cast. There's uh, 500 ballots in the, in the national bucket that don't belong there, at least 500. A letter back from his local told him his protest was invalid. The National sent him a letter and says it's still looking. I reached out to the UAW National leadership and they tell me that they believe that their process is as democratic as any you'll find anywhere. They stand by their election, but they say they're looking into the Peterson complaint. And in the meantime, Peterson says if he doesn't get a satisfaction, he may very well sue. In Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4.